So it comes in this duffel bag. The duffel bag was already torn from the factory. Uh, not gonna worry about that too much right now, but I assume they're probably gonna replace it without much hassle, uh, especially being a new product. Uh, but it seems like they put the actual money into the product rather than the bag. It's a pretty cheap bag. Uh, not gonna, like I said, worry about that. It seemed like they did do a good job on the pro actual product. We've got one big handle, so it's easy to uh, hold with one hand, relatively easy. Got to make sure all the hooks and straps are not tangled on uh, one of the poles that fold out. I made that mistake the first time I tried to use it and uh, snagged up on it. But it's pretty easy to install. Uses a suction cup on the bottom uh, to hold to the roof pretty securely. I was actually putting a decent amount of force on it and it's fairly snug. First time I tried to secure it, I just wasn't paying much attention and didn't uh, didn't hold. Second time I made sure it was flat first and it held really good. Comes with this remote. Uh, this is to fold it up. This is to unfold it. Uh, this is to stop. And this is to sync with the product in case uh, you know, you get a different product from this brand or whatever, or if for some reason they get out of sync or whatever, it's to resync it. And one touch operation. Then it's got four straps on the corners to secure it down, especially because of the wind. Then it's got a fifth strap in the middle. It's supposed to be a security strap to prevent it from being stolen. Uh, the actual material for the straps, I'm not going to try it, but they show trying to use scissors and stuff to cut it. It's supposed to be uh, theft proof straps. Uh, hopefully, that never gets tested. That's it. It's all set up. And supposedly it uh, keeps inside temperatures as much as 35 degrees cooler than without it. And I believe that's 35 degrees Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Cooler. Uh, and so I don't know if I said they're doing a Kickstarter campaign right now. You can also be bought on landmoto.com or amazon.com the seller's name is landmoto official they have at least one other product uh, it's a car cover not a tent 
is the other product. This here is a 3.5 meter canopy. I believe it's the only one available right now since it's brand new. They're eventually going to have 4 meter and 4.5 meter. For a van, 4.5 would definitely be better. Uh, so this hook here, normally it comes down and attaches to a car handle for like a four-door car. This strap here uh, is supposed to go around the mirror. It doesn't quite reach the mirror. 4.5 meter canopy definitely would. Then uh, that middle strap I was talking about earlier is supposed to be the security strap. Uh, it's got a hook inside so you can't pull it out. And then yeah, it's supposed to be some kind of material that uh, can't cut or very hard to cut. I believe they call this theft proof or whatever. And if the battery dies, there's a pin on the top of it you remove and you can use hold it up or open it in manual mode. On the other side, kind of dark probably can't really see but there's a USB port for charging things or, or running electric items like a light bulb or something especially if you use tent mode you can actually make a actual tent out of this it's kind of like a cabana uh, where I, don't, I haven't checked it out yet but somehow there are walls there are walls that you can snap onto this and they, they show it in the video not the how to but what it looks like there's also the connections for charging on there the product comes with both a car charger and a home charger it's got the land mode on this side too uh, you can also maybe not right now but eventually uh make custom designs order custom designs like you know so it doesn't have to be black with red stripe uh, i guess you can virtually do anything as long as they accept it so you know, this right here i just have inside the doors not actually sure it doesn't go in the track like that so undo that undo this undo this one actually let me put the phone back on what should we call it touch press the lock button make sure none of the hooks snag on anything because I got the roof rails that's it pretty easy Put it back in the bag, make sure none of the hooks are uh, attached to anything. This is, see all these hooks dangling. Make sure nothing's attached to anything when you put it up and then uh, when you redo it again. Make sure nothing snags on nothing. It's good to go. So far seems like a pretty good product. Couple things that could be changed, but they'll probably change them down the line. You know, it's brand new. Uh, it costs three hundred dollars right now. It'll probably cost a lot more before too much longer. Uh, maybe not a lot, lot more, but four or five hundred or whatever. 
And yeah, I think it'll do pretty good. We'll see over time.